uh, let's continue our conversation. So I am actually going to uh, turn it over to Patrick, uh, Dr. Patrick Sullivan here. And really, now let's jump into the findings. So hold your thoughts on the keynotes. I'm sure you have a lot. During this session, I'm sure you wrote down some bullet points for our morning keynotes and opening remarks. But let's go into begin presenting our findings around three primary barriers to growing and diversifying the energy efficiency workforce. So we're going to cover three topics, lack of awareness in energy efficiency jobs, diversity in energy efficiency jobs, and skills and training gaps. CDAC conducted extensive literature review and over 40 interviews across energy efficiency stakeholders in Illinois to generate the findings that will be presented today. Each of these segments will consist of a brief presentation of findings, feature in organizations overcoming these barriers, and then we will break out into our breakout groups for reflection and discussion. Our first barrier that we will discuss in growing and diversifying the energy efficiency workforce is lack of awareness in energy efficiency jobs. Dr. Patrick Sullivan, program manager at CDAC, will share our research findings on this subject. Welcome, Dr. Sullivan, and thanks for presenting today. Thank you, Cassie, and thank you everybody for being here. Again, my name is Patrick Sullivan. I'm a program manager at CDEC, and I've been managing uh, the Workforce Development and Diversification Project. Um, and as Cassie said, we started with a, a literature review. We did some focus groups with uh, Ameren's Market Develop Initiative. We followed that up with a, an extensive uh, interview process where we interviewed people from across the uh, five stakeholder groups throughout the state, uh, energy efficiency employers, workforce development coordinators, uh, community support providers, energy efficiency training providers, and also a few job seekers. Um, and what I'm gonna do uh, is present our findings specifically on lack of awareness and how lack of awareness of energy efficiency jobs and careers uh, represents a real barrier into getting people into the pipeline and supplying qualified workers um, into the workforce. And I've got a little Prezi presentation here, and it's a um, depiction of a, a, what do you call it, an iceberg. And really the point is that everything that seems to be happening in the energy efficiency workforce is happening below the surface, out of most people's awareness. So when we started doing our research, we identified a number of challenges associated with um, workforce development and energy efficiency. Um, first thing we noticed is there's a couple of misconceptions out there that uh, point to a certain amount of cognitive dissonance. Uh, the first one is that uh, to get into the energy efficiency field, you need a four-year degree from a college. Uh, and this, on the other hand, there's another misconception that says uh, that trade programs, which provide a lot of the workers into the energy efficiency workforce, are only suitable for low performing students. So on the one hand, you need a college degree. On the other hand, uh, the field is only for low performing students. So I think those two things kind of combine to keep a lot of people away from the field. And I think these misconceptions are rooted in a widespread and pervasive lack, pervasive lack of awareness of what energy efficiency careers are and, and the training programs that can bring you to those careers. So this, uh, the CDAC um, team interviewed a number of stakeholders uh, from across the state, and we asked them a subset of questions about lack of awareness to get their ideas on, uh, you know, first of all, how big of a barrier it is and how we might overcome it. And to share those findings with you, I'm gonna, we're gonna, play a little game here that's similar to two truths and a lie. So I'm gonna, down, I'm gonna um, show you three quotes, two of which came from our uh, interviews and one of them which was made up by me. And then we'll have a little poll and what I want you to do is to identify the quote that I made up. So the first set of quotes um, will have to do with comments that emerged uh, from our interviews surrounding a, a rare awareness of careers and training paths for energy efficiency jobs. So I'm gonna read the uh, three quotes to you. Uh, and these all come from um, energy efficiency training providers. So the first one is, people don't know what energy efficiency jobs do. A student is leery of applying because they don't even know what it is. Another training provider talked about um, how uh, the difficulties in finding the right path for students interested in uh, efficiency. 
So he said, HVAC is over here. Oh, you're in building and renewables? You're over there. Truthfully, there is zero difference between electrical building, HVAC, and renewables in this smaller realm of what we're talking about. And finally, another training provider said, when students finish our training and get, in, get a certificate in energy efficiency, many of them go out and find jobs in construction, HVAC, weatherization, and lots of other things. So my question to you is, which one of those do you think I made up? Um, and we're going to have, uh, we're going to present a poll here. And if you can just use your mouse to and select which answer you think, or which quote you think I made up. Now, if you're on the phone, please bear with us. Uh, you won't be able to see the poll, um, but I'll just talk about it in a moment. If you get the correct answer, your prize is a warm, fuzzy feeling in your heart, or maybe a feeling of superiority that you outsmarted me. If you get the wrong answer, you're still a good person. It's no problem. Um, so here, the looks like the votes are coming in. Look at how vast we tabulate these votes. Isn't that amazing? Counting, it's not as hard as it ought to be. All right, looks like we got about a little over half of the votes in. So let's just look. Looks like most people are saying the quote that I made up is the second one. And uh, actually, the, the quote that I made up is the third one, um, where I say uh, students finish our training program and they go out and find jobs in this field. I would love that to be uh, a true quote. Um, unfortunately, we're not finding people saying that. What we're finding is people saying that, you know, students don't know what energy efficiency is. They don't know how to get into it. Um, and the second quote, now, um, I, didn't, I didn't want you to find, uh, evaluate the truthfulness of the quote. Or I just wanted you to guess which one I made up. So you may not agree with this quote, but it did come from a training provider. And I think his point was, there's no single path to energy efficiency as far as he knows. And it's difficult sometimes to um, put students in the right path to get them where they want to go. So this lack of awareness re represents a real problem in recruiting new people into the energy efficiency professions. Uh, and it also creates uh, kind of a confusion in training or for, because there's confusion in the training pathways. There's no clear path uh, about which training uh, course to take in order to get into energy efficiency. All right, moving on. So now I'm gonna give you another series of quotes um, surrounding comments about the defining and understanding energy efficiency jobs. And again, I'm not looking for you to evaluate the accuracy or the truthfulness of the quote, but which one do you think came from a real person and which one do you think I made up? So the first quote, a lot of students come to us interested in energy efficiency, but then they usually end up focusing on something else like HVAC, engineering, etc. Another interviewee said, the career path isn't so clear. There's no Department of Labor job code for an energy auditor. People kind of come to it accidentally. And finally, the third quote, when people think about energy efficiency, they mistakenly think of clean power, of solar, of wind, what they can see. They don't think of energy efficiency. So which one of these three quotes do you think I made up, leaving the other two coming from real people working out there in the field who actually know what's happening? So just take a couple of seconds to give it your best guess. Don't overthink it. I wish we had prizes for you, but unfortunately, You'll just have to walk away with a smile on your face because you got it right. All right, so it looks like we're a little over halfway of the votes counted. And I'll tell you, yeah, it looks like most of you uh, identified the made up quote which if you paid attention to the previous slide, um, hopefully was uh, a bit of a clue. Um, 
we don't find that students are coming into programs looking for energy efficiency and then finding other pathways. In fact, we usually find uh, a, the opposite is true. They come in interested in other things and then they accidentally find energy efficiency. Um, what is apparent is that like the government doesn't really track a lot of these jobs. So a high school counselor can't look at the forecasts over the next five years and say, oh, there's going to be a big demand in um, you know, energy auditors. Maybe we ought to push people in that direction. So there's, there's just no awareness about it. And this lack of awareness really keeps qualified people and people interested in energy efficiency away from the field. So the question is, what can we do about this? So we asked um, our interviewees not only what the problems were, but we asked them how we might go about ra raising awareness about energy efficiency and energy efficiency careers uh, throughout the state. And so there are three categories of solutions here. One is obviously how do we raise awareness? And the consensus seems to be we need to start early in grade school and high schools so that we can give uh, people, give children a vocabulary that they can draw on, a framework that they can understand what energy efficiency careers might be so that when um, they get into high school and they start thinking about next steps that these uh, pathways become kind of selections on a menu of possible pathways. Right now, when, when high school students are thinking about what's next, energy efficiency isn't even on the menu, so they, they don't even think about it. Um, there's also, we also heard that we need to find and empower diverse leaders to share their experiences. And we'll be talking more about this when uh, Dr. Jarrett uh, talks about diversity. Uh, and also to provide better and more detailed uh, career-based information. The second uh, suggestion for how we can improve things, and this is one of our main findings in the project, is that we need to better do a better job of coordinating efforts among different stakeholder groups. We need to be able to form partnerships with community-based organizations who know the landscape and who can tap into the local wells of um, wisdom in their communities. Uh, we need to do a better job of establishing dedicated communications channels. Um, most of the communications between stakeholder groups now uh, tend to be informal, and we'll talk more about this. I think Linda Larson will talk more about that in her presentation. Uh, we need to share industry-focused employment information, establish job clearing houses, and form professional groups uh, sur surrounding energy efficiency. So something like the Illinois Energy Efficiency Association that could help promote uh, the field and raise awareness. All right, and now and finally education. Uh, people suggested that we develop, their, that it would be helpful to develop internship programs for high school students where they can get real world hands-on experience, get a taste for what the work is like and maybe get drawn into the field. We need to provide more multidisciplinary systems-based energy efficiency college courses. It's great to have somebody, to train somebody how to wire or repair an air conditioning unit, but it's something else completely to have them understand how that air conditioning unit fits into the whole system of the house with its uh, envelope and um, uh, weatherization and other um, systems that are important in energy efficiency. And again, we need to increase access to on-the-job training. It's a technical field that's advancing and changing very quickly. People need to be kept up to speed. All right. So that was very quickly um, some of our findings and uh, recommended solutions for um, raising awareness of energy efficiency careers.